the game can see the boxing boys. People, now in front of 20, 30, 40, 50,000, see what, how many we sell out. Regardless, man, it's a beautiful venue. It's, it's a privilege, and I'm honored, and I thank God every day. Uh, you won your last fight. How does it feel uh, stepping back into the ring after the short layoff? Short layoff? I was off two and a half years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it felt great, man. Um, I was the last fight that night, so after my fight, I helped everybody pick up the chairs, so that was cool. But uh, um, I enjoy it. I love boxing, man. I love the camaraderie. You know, you want to talk shit? That's fine with me. You know, I could do it too. You want to respect? I respect you too. But as soon as the bell rings, all friendship's out the door and it's time to get to work. And that's the thing I love about boxing, man. It's a gentleman's sport. Meaning, you get in there, you beat the crap out of each other, and after you're done, you shake hands like nothing happened. You know, nothing more gentleman to me than that. Uh, last question. Uh, I know you're ready to go uh, the full 12 rounds, uh, but uh, how long do you think it's going to take? I got, I, you know what? I want to get out of the uh, under five, man. Um, I want to I want to get ready and watch the fight and enjoy the fights, man. So hopefully under five, but I'm, I'm expected to go the full 10 rounds, man. I'm ready to go the full 10 rounds. I did a lot of cardio because uh, he's one of those boxers that really boxes. He's a good boxer, lefty, real crafty. He's going to try to keep me on my toes, and I'm going to have to keep coming. So I have to be ready. Great. Thanks, Chris. Good luck. Thank you. You look really good. Is it safe to say like you are reborn? Is this like a rebirth for Israel? Yeah, you know what? Um, um, as I was training, as I've been training, and I go to the LA Fitness, and I go to the boxing gym, and I do whatever I got to do, I'm thinking, I'm like, it's always better, better late than never, right? But then as I'm training, I'm like, fuck, I just hope it's just not too late. So I'm working my butt off because I want to make it happen. This is my last run, and, and uh, I want the fans to believe me, to believe in me. And words are gone with the wind. Actions speak louder than words. Chris, um, it just seems like you, you, you got more spring in your step. Like You seem like you're lighter on your toes just watching you shadow box yesterday. How do you feel physically? I feel great, man. Um, I did a lot of cardio. Fuck, I, and I, I, don't, I don't run, just so everybody knows. I still, to this day, I do not run. Um, I do a lot of stairs. I do a lot of bleachers. I do uh, the stair mill. That motherfucker kills me. But the main thing, man, I wanted to be in the best boxing shape I could be. Because uh, um, John Pierre is a good boxer. He, uh, he's lefty, so I have to be aware at all times. And honestly, being in shape helps you taking a punch. It really does. It really helps you with your um, with your mental state because when you're working so hard and you get yourself so amped up and your heart's going and you stay lightheaded, you still got to work through it. So cardio was a major thing in this this fight. What do you make of uh, Augustin taking shots at uh, L.A. like the Dodgers? And the, you know what? You know. It's deserved though, man. It, the, that Dodger series, it killed me, but... Not as much as last year against Houston. This year, you know, Boston was, they were just a great team, man. They were, they were just a monster of a team. And as far as the Rams, I'm glad the Rams lost because uh, they ran, uh, Henry's a Rams fan, so I'm, I'm, I love when, he's, uh, when he feels like shit. Now, obviously you don't want to look past this fight. You got to make a good performance this Saturday. But will we ever see a Chris Ariola, carlos Molina fight before you retire? Carlos Molina? Who's Carlos Molina? Eric Molina? Eric Molina. Oh, Eric? Oh, man, I would love to fuck that guy up. That, that, <laughs> that guy right there, man, I, honestly, that's one guy that I really, really have it out for. And I, I, and in all honesty, I don't even know what the heck is this problem. After the Wilder fight, he started talking shit to me. I had my son in my hands. He's lucky I didn't have my hands, son in my hands, or I sort of jumped over the fence and slapped the shit out of him. You think you'll get that fight before you, before you retire? You know what? Like I said, I got to win the fight. Got to keep winning. Take care of the business this Saturday, and that's one fight that I'm, I'm definitely looking for. But first, let's take care of Jean Pierre.